It's common knowledge in today's game that the medic is the most important class, a class that should be protected at all costs in order for them to supply healing to your own team. But you know, back in the day, this class was put together quite differently. Its mechanics were completely different, both in terms of the methods of healing that the medic had to offer and in the way in which this class could be used. So let's start off with the basics. The old medic had 90 health and was equipped with a knife, rifle, and the ability to build mash tents, which as we know, was a mechanic that was carried on into the later version of Hogs, but was eventually scrapped before the final release. The game's very first design document describes the medic class as quite a hardy breed. They are able to make forays into war zones, soaking up damage in order to rescue wounded pigs. It goes on to say that the medic can operate on any pig that has sustained damage, but this decreases their medic skill meter, which will slowly recharge over time. If it's empty, then it will take five turns to fully recharge. The medic can heal any number of pigs so long as they have enough time and meter. The medic's meter holds 100 hit points worth of medical care and attention when fully charged. Interestingly, the document also states that medics cannot heal themselves. If a medic enters a building that is not destroyed, then a red cross banner is unrolled on the roof. If they remain inside the building, then their medical meter will recharge faster and pigs requiring treatment must be moved inside in order to receive it. Now advanced medics can place up to three mash tents in the field. Once set up, the pig or pigs are free to leave the tent at any time and any of the pigs or units ending their turn inside the tent will be healed. But with only 50 HP, the tent can be destroyed fairly easily with any pigs inside taking about half the damage that the tent is dealt. No pig can fire or attack once inside the tent. So we end up with a version of the medical class whose primary objective is to heal. Sure, you have a knife and a rifle to defend yourself, but the medic's role was originally to build, occupy and provide methods of healing for their team. But rather than having abilities or items that can heal, the medic would have to focus on the placement of their mash tents and determine how to distribute their medical meter in order to give heals to other teammates. Despite the eventual scrapping of the medical meter, the medic class in today's game is still the same when it comes to the maximum amount of healing that you can provide in a single turn. 100 HP can be distributed in one turn by using all three uses of the healing hands and either a medical dart or a medical ball directly afterwards. I know the medical ball can technically provide more healing because it's able to heal multiple pigs at once. So yes, if you were to add all the healing it does across multiple pigs up, then the number would be higher. But at a base level, the maximum amount of healing the medic can give out to one teammate is 100 HP. The idea of not being able to heal yourself as a medic is quite a strange concept when you compare it to today's game, but the GDD doesn't specify if medics could be healed by other medics or in other mash tents. I do like the inclusion of buildings and the idea that if a medic goes inside one of them, then they can automatically become a medical station of sorts. It's a nice change from the somewhat static buildings that we have today, and ultimately it paints a completely different picture of what this class could have been. But what do you think about this older version of the medical class? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always let's get a discussion going like we usually do. For me it's just interesting to see how different game mechanics were looked at and in some cases implemented for a short period of time during Hogs of War's development. The older classes offer us a glimpse into the minds of the team that were working on the game, not to mention providing a much clearer view of how this class has changed and was developed over that three year period. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out my others and indeed the other Meet the Old class videos. You'll find a link to the playlist at the end of this video. And in the meantime, I will catch you guys later for the next one. Destination Boy